Where do you draw your inspiration from as an artist? I guess, um, you know, things I experience, things that affect me, things that happen to me. And all around it, it, it literally comes through me. I feel uh, like it's some sort of collective consciousness. And it's not even me painting the, the canvas, it's somebody else. Well, when I was in school, the teacher said I was a good, I was a good drawer, so I thought I might as well pursue it. If you're good at something, you can only get better. Just I uh, always really enjoyed it. It relaxes me. It, um, it it allows me to be creative. I get my my creative juices flowing. It's just it's just wonderful. It's always been fantastic. What is success to you? Selling a lot of paintings, making some money. When someone connects with one of my paintings, when someone like really likes it, they dig it, that's success. It's just such a good feeling that you can share something that you did with somebody else, especially when it impacts them in a, you know, in a positive emotional state. Can you describe your painting? My analogy is a, like a flower. There's a seed of a flower. If I plant a blanket flower, for instance, the flower that's going to emerge eventually is going to be a blanket flower. It might not get enough sun, it might not get enough water, but eventually it's going to be that blanket flower. And in the painting, you see a flower already submerged, and it's representational of the, of the, the man or the boy. You can see his color a little bit. He's not completely clear. He's still trying to figure out who he is, what kind of flower he's going to be. And uh, someday, he's going to blossom. He's going to be that flower he was always going to be. There's no fighting it. To me, it's a, it's a guy who's in a shooting gallery. It's like, um, shooting galleries are like life. There's lots of targets that people shoot at. And one of the targets, if you look, um, if you look at his heart, his heart's a target, and it's uh, totally exposed. Puts himself out there. He's waiting to get shot in the heart, broken hearted, so to speak. If you look at his face, you can see his expression. He's hopeful that he doesn't get shot. That they shoot at one of the other targets. Can you please describe to me your process? I kind of just start putting the paint on the canvas. I get an idea in my head. And then I try to put that idea down. I don't really think about it that much. I try to do it in a way that is the most, the most impact visually. How can you tell when your painting's finished? I know my painting's finished when someone connects with it and they take it home with them. You know, whether I give it away or they buy it, that's when I know it's finished. So it's never finished. It's always something more.